Welcome to your first electronics laboratory. You will begin by learning about the digital multimeter and the breadboard. The digital multimeter is just as the name suggests, a meter with a digital display that can be used for a variety of measurements. When using the multimeter, it is important that you understand the scale and how the lead connections differ depending on the measurement you are going to undertake. One great function of the digital multimeter is the conductivity tester. If current can flow between two points, the meter will beep. This is a great tool for checking if connections exist between two points. This is especially great for fault finding. You're also going to learn about the breadboard. The breadboard is used for most experiments. The breadboard allows us to build a circuit where the holes are used to connect the circuit together. It is vital that you understand how the holes are connected internally. Once we understand the fundamentals, we can start building some circuits. We start by using some lamps to investigate the connections of the breadboard. An important skill to learn is how to measure the voltage and current in a circuit. In order to make measurements, you will need to understand the difference between series and parallel circuits. Two or more elements are in series if they are cascaded or connected sequentially and carry the same current. Two or more elements are in parallel if they are connected to the same two nodes and consequently have the same voltage across them. To measure the voltage, the multimeter must act as a voltmeter. When measuring voltage, we place the voltmeter in parallel of the element we are measuring. We do this because we know that parallel connected circuit elements have the same voltage across their terminals. To measure the current, the multimeter must act as an ammeter. When measuring current, we place the ammeter in series with the element we are measuring. We do this because we know that series connected circuit elements carry the same current. In the video, the pointer is showing the path the current is traveling through the circuit. Notice how it must travel through the multimeter. When connecting up the circuit, it is essential that you ensure that there are no breaks in your circuit. That is, current must be able to travel from one terminal of the power supply all the way through your circuit to the other terminal of the power supply. If when you build a circuit it does not work, you can use the conductivity test on your digital multimeter as shown earlier or you can try following the voltages across your circuit. You will generally not fault find by checking the current as it is much more troublesome due to the fact that you need to break the circuit. Time's law is represented by the equation V equals IR where V is the voltage, I is the current, and R is the resistance. This equation can also be rearranged to be I equals V divided by R, and R equals the voltage divided by the current. Ohm's law states that the current in a conducting material is directly proportional to the applied voltage and inversely proportional to its resistance. It is one of the most important laws in electronics that you need to understand and remember. Resistors are heavily used in electronics. It is important that you know how to read the value of a resistor. A color code is used to represent the value of a resistor. In the diagram you can see four colors on the resistor. A gold or silver band represents the tolerance. When reading a resistor this represents the final color. Therefore, if gold or silver is at the front, your resistor is the wrong way around. Gold represents a tolerance of plus or minus 5% and silver represents a tolerance of plus or minus 10%. The other colors are determined by a chart. Each color represents a value from 0 to 9. An easy way to remember the colors is through the saying black bears run on your garden but veggies grow well. The first and second colors directly represent the numbers from the chart. The third color however is a multiplier. The value of the third color represents how many zeros you need to attach to your first two numbers. The fourth, as mentioned previously, is your tolerance. Resistance can also be measured using an analog or digital multimeter.